How's it going, friends? This is Jelly from your favorite digital marketing channel, Life Marketing. And in this video, we're going to discuss how to create Facebook carousel ads on Canva. Now, we're creating a carousel ad, which ideally is a minimum of five images that will look like this on someone's feed. There are mainly three ways to design this kind of ad set. One is to have one graphic template repeated throughout the carousel, varying only in the main featured image or product, except for maybe the first image that will feature a headline like a sale announcement or just something more eye-catching to entice your viewer to scroll through to the next images of the carousel, which would feature individual products or services that you offer. With a recurring template on your carousel, your ad will have a nice and uniform look. Second is a carousel of mainly photos of your product or service with the details placed in the ad caption. This one requires very minimal editing. All you need to do is crop or resize your images into the recommended square size. It's important though that for this type of carousel ad, you have to use the best of the best of your product or service images. They have to be crisp and if they're lifestyle images, they have to be staged well. And the third carousel design type is what I personally consider the most fun one to make. The seamless or connecting carousel ad set. These separate square images, once on someone's feed, will look like they're connected to one another, cleverly using the carousel side-scrolling function to your ad's visual benefit. Let's go ahead and try making one. Let's start with setting up our Canva file. On Canva's homepage, click on the Create a Design button at the top right of the screen then click on custom size. Since we're creating five square images with each one being 1000 by 1000 pixels in size, we're going to set up a canvas that's 5000 pixels in width and 1000 pixels in height. We're going to design the carousel as one very wide image and then we're going to cut them into their individual squares after we're done. Okay, now we have our document set up. Before we start designing, we're going to want to mark where each square begins and ends so we know exactly what elements we're placing in each square. We're going to do that by clicking on File and Show Rulers. Now you're going to see this ruler that's set to pixels. Now we're going to add a ruler line to every thousand pixels so we can easily identify the borders of each square ad once we've cut them. Now we have our document set up, we're ready to start designing. You can start from scrap and play around with Canva's library of elements and backgrounds. Or, if you look at the templates tab over here, you'll notice a bunch of wide graphic preset templates. You can use any of these as your starting point by keeping just the background and decorative elements and you'll already have a seamless design ready to add your product or service images to. Just be sure to edit the colors and change a few elements to fit your visual branding better. Once you're happy with your design, go ahead and save the file as JPEG or PNG. We're now ready to split our design into five individual images. For that, we're going to use the site pinetools.com. PineTools is a free website with multiple tools of different purposes. For this guide, we'll be using their split image tool. From their homepage, click on More in their Images section. Once the page loads, scroll down and click on Split Image. Once the page is loaded, upload your wide image graphic and select Horizontal. Select JPEG or PNG, and since we need to chop it into 5 images, type in 5 in your quantity of blocks. Okay. You can now click on Download Zip File. Once that's downloaded, unzip your file and in the folder, you now have five separate but visually connecting graphics for your carousel ads. That is it for today's design guide. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment down below and please give this video a quick thumbs up if you learned anything. Also, be sure to follow Life Marketing for your essential digital marketing guides. Once again, this is Jelly and I'll catch you in the next one.